Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about galaxies, and specifically the Andromeda Galaxy, and a more recent study that seems to actually indicate that Andromeda might actually be very, very young, even younger than our own Earth. Let's talk about this, and welcome to What The Math. So right now we're looking at the Milky Way galaxy, this is our beautiful home and our planet Earth is somewhere over here. But if we move at a distance of about 2.5 million light years away from our own system, we'll reach another galaxy. A very famous galaxy known as the Andromeda. Now in some of the previous videos I've talked about how one day our beautiful Milky Way and the Andromeda will most likely collide and create one super galaxy for which we don't really have a name yet, but some people suggested calling it Milk Dromeda might actually be appropriate. But what we actually just recently discovered, or not really discovered, but one of the papers basically speculated about and makes a really, really, really strong point is that this beautiful galaxy is actually a lot younger than we thought. As a matter of fact, it seems to be only maybe two to three billion years old. Our Earth, in comparison, is close to 5 billion years old. In other words, this right here is about 1.5 billion years younger. Now, how and why and what did we discover? Well, first of all, this is actually a paper by a joint French and Chinese researchers that used um, a lot of data and a lot of um, computers at Paris Observatory and so what they did here was analyze close to about 2 million photos of Andromeda Galaxy and use a supercomputer to simulate various collisions and uh, try to basically explain a few unusual features in the Andromeda. Now, we unfortunately don't really have all of those features and it's kind of difficult for, for them to be simulated in Space Engine, but I'm going to try to point them out to you. First feature that they tried to explain with these collisions was the fact that if you were to actually go into the center of the Andromeda galaxy and if you were to look at various stars in this region, you would actually discover quite a lot of relatively young stars that were approximately 2 billion uh, years old. And these stars, with almost no exceptions, seem to be moving erratically all over the place, up and down, left and right. They basically kind of circulate um, pretty much hectically around the central region. Now, if you were to do the same to our own Milky Way, if you were to, to go back to the Milky Way, which is somewhere over there, and to basically look at the Milky Way galaxy, you will discover that our relatively large and young stars move very orderly in a circular motion. They don't move up and down almost at all. In other words, they orbit the central region more orderly, whereas in Andromeda they are all over the place. This is one of the first hints suggesting that maybe, just maybe, there was some sort of a collision that created a very large dust cloud in the center that probably uh, created all of these young stars that we have there. And just the fact that there was so much dust here to begin with to create all of these very young stars is actually um, a very clear uh, indication that there might have been a collision very recently. So this dust that suddenly accumulated the center and created these young stars must have come from somewhere. There is another very unusual uh, part of Andromeda that we could never explain. And for this, I'm actually going to take us to Google and to basically this paper from um, December of 2015 uh, that talks about the um, so-called giant stream. Th this is basically what you see right here. This is various uh, large constellations or large, almost globular cluster-like formations that seem to be sticking out here and here in the halo of Andromeda. And it actually has a few of these. Now, what's interesting is if you actually look up giant stream on Google, there's already a lot of speculation that these were formed from a collision of two galaxies. And for this reason, I'm going to take us to the YouTube channel by the Observatory of Paris, where they actually released these two really amazing videos that I'm going to show you right here, um, simulating the collision and how they were able to explain 
both the formation of these unusual um, streams and also other features of Andromeda Galaxy. So we actually have several passages here where Andromeda uh, had these two, uh, two galaxies. And let me actually just go back a little bit to show you what they are. These two galaxies, uh, one of which was about four times smaller in mass than the other, passing by each other about seven billion years ago from now. And then uh, four billion years later, they came back and essentially merged together. Now, this merger occurred um, at least two billion years ago. And this is where the uh, thick disk formed that actually has both the halo and these unusual features known as um, streams. And specifically here, the giant stream is the one that we're particularly interested in. Now notice how the simulation creates the Andromeda almost exactly as it is in real life. This is the picture of real Andromeda. This is the simulation. If you actually look at the second video they made, oh, and by the way, this is the name of the actual paper and the credits of people who are responsible for making this. But let's actually take a look at the second video that shows a little bit more detail about the actual merger, which is uh, very, very, very interesting. So here, after the actual merger occurred, um, what you can kind of see is this is where that second title tail is created, which leads to those streams that I mentioned. And this is something that we couldn't really explain before. We, we thought it was from a collision, but we didn't realize it was from a collision relatively recently and from two large galaxies, because this was the question we were asking ourselves before. Did Andromeda form from a collision of smaller galaxies or was it one or two uh, big collisions from larger galaxies? And this particular paper that used the supercomputer to simulate all this stuff does explain a lot of the uh, features that we see in Andromeda with the collisions of two relatively large galaxies, one being about four times more massive than the other. Now here, this is where the giant stream is formed. And we actually are able to explain it using these simulations very, very well. And notice how pretty much every single part of Andromeda can be explained with this particular uh, simulation. And this is actually something that I was really, really, really uh, surprised to, uh, to read in the paper. Well, anyway, so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this particular video. And in essence, I just wanted to basically uh, explore the idea of Andromeda most likely being a relatively young galaxy. And when it actually collides with the Milky Way galaxy in about 2.5 billion years from now, um, it will create a much larger galaxy. But interestingly, in comparison to uh, the Milky Way, Andromeda seems to be a relatively young creation. And it will actually be um, only about the age of our planet Earth, uh, current age of planet Earth, so basically about 5 billion years, when it disappears and merges with the Milky Way. And that's all I kind of wanted to mention in this video. And in the next video, we'll talk about uh, some of the other things you may have not known about our universe, space, and science in general. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Subscribe if you still haven't. And share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos and learn through video games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.